Okay guys, so uh, this video has went a couple different directions. It started about three months back whenever I was going to resole these pair of boots and uh, to make the ultimate pair of work boots. Uh, but anyways, in sitting here and editing it, the footage that I've got doesn't really work with itself, uh, but it is kind of entertaining. And so it, just get in for a long ride, sit back and watch and be in, entertained by my stupidity. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. There got to be a better way than this. Very nice. Okay guys, uh, welcome back to Educating the Modern. Thanks for watching. In this episode, we're going to do a little bit about boots. Okay. First up, i got to explain to you guys that I love boots. Um, I think it's called that little monkey and... Thor the Explorer. I love my boots. Yeah, my boots and me. Um, anyways, uh, and I've got, uh, I mean, I've never been diagnosed, but I think I've kind of got that plantar fasciitis. My feet hurt really bad if I don't have good shoes. Anyways, um, so I got sold on Red Wings a long time ago uh, because of their full leather footbed inside there. It molds to your foot and, um, uh, it's hard as hard as a rock almost, but over time it molds to your foot and really gives you support where you need support. And so that's why I like Red Wings. But I've got a few of the boots here. These got uh, the Iron Rangers, Beckmans. These are really nice, super super nice. Uh, these are, uh, I think they're called Rough and Rugged. I don't know, whatever. These are uh, actually from Sears. They're diehards. Uh, go on Father's Day or around Christmas or something like that. They'll they'll run sales. And you can get these half off, and they're like 50 bucks. So, great deal. Good boots. And um, these are gravel gear I got from Northern uh, Tool. And, uh, you know, honestly, they're pretty good, too. Uh, they're, you know, just sloppy work boots for me, and, and they, they're, they're pretty good. But anyways, what this video is actually about is these boots right here are um, should be my number one work boots. Because they're red wings, they're comfortable, they're good, I like them. Uh, but I tend to use these more often. And it's only for one reason, it's that sole. Um, these right here, they have this Vibram wedge sole. And that's the best. That's just, there's just nothing better out there. It's the best. The only problem with it is, is it wears really, really fast. Especially, like for me, whenever I'm driving, I'm in the car like this. You know, gas, clutch back and forth and so this this outside heel right here rubs off really fast for me and so these right here I want that wedge sole for two reasons the comfort of it as well as these big lugs track in all these little these little rocks in my backyard and mud and everything I don't need that traction I mean geez and so I'm gonna replace these with wedge soles, however, in order to combat the wear factor of these things wearing down too fast, I'm going to try these. Um, this is a new product from Thorogood, right? And you know, you guys out there, well, why don't you just get Thorogood boots? Well, they're good boots. My brother, uh, my brother, he loves them and swears by them and everything. There's one reason I don't get Thorogood boots. This is the only one: that leather insole that the Red Wings have. I love it. If I'm going to spend that much money on a on a pair of boots, I want that leather insole. You know, these right here are an exception because they're cheap. So, my cobbler, <clears throat> he gave me some pointers on how to do this. You know, um, normally, I, you know, I have him resole them and stuff like that. But uh, <laughs> it's just a little, a little bit more than I wanted to spend this time. And, and more than that, honestly, it was, I want to see if I can do it. So. This is going to be either a big success or a big failure, and uh, I'm going to let you guys make that decision, I guess. Or, well, honestly, I'll probably make it because I'll be like, oh, I fucked up. <laughs> then I'll have to take it to my cobbler anyways. 
Right here is the welt. That's leather. Right here, I think this is called the midsole. And that is, that's actually rubber, right? And then right here is your actual outer sole, right? You want to leave that rubber sole in the middle right there. You want to leave that there. So you want to cut in between these two. God, this is a pain in the ass already. No. It's, well, I mean, it's coming, you know, it's, but I'm just cutting the, the sole, you know, which is, I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. It seems like it, it would peel off, but I don't think it's going to at all. I don't think it's going to peel off, not one bit. Got to cut every inch of it. Already starting to go. Uh, maybe it was worth the money. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, uh, I've gotten not even an inch. Well, you guys see what's going on there? It pains me to do this, but... Fuck it. I'm taking it to the cop. <laughs> Fiasco! Hey! You can take it. What? <laughs> what happened? It's hard. <laughs> I went with the Thorogood soles on the Red Wing boot, right? Another thing that I did with the Red Wing boot was um, these right here are not from Red Wing. Red Wing uh, has a, a, a leather that has a plastic backing on it, right? That wraps around here and that plastic back, backing won't allow it to stretch and be malleable. And it was cutting into the back of my heel. Right, or, or my Achilles heel right in there. Every time I like push a clutch in or something, it would cut into my uh, Achilles tendon. There we go. Um, so I replaced that. We got this nice soft malleable leather on there now. Also gave a couple of the quick um, speed lace hooks, I guess you'd call them, a couple of those on there. And other than that, that that's it, you know. I got the Thoroughgood soles, it's really nice and soft and now I've been using these now for about about a month since I got them back from the um, from the cobbler which funny story I got the soles and I was like I'll just I'm Bodie <laughs> I can do this I'm gonna just tear those uh, soles off myself and actually put uh, the new soles on myself that way you know I just wanted the experience of trying to do it but sitting there with it between my legs and working with a pocket knife trying to cut off the old sole, it was just so worth it to take it to my cobbler. And we and him, me and him had talked this out previously, uh, and he had told me what to do and stuff. Whenever I brought it back in, the asshole was just laughing at me like crazy. But um, so the point is, is uh, use your cobbler. Uh, Larry is the guy that I use. He's in Tucker. This isn't a, and you know, I'm not a fanboy getting paid for this or anything, but he's he's a good cobbler and he's a good guy. And he's in Tucker, Georgia. Um, I think it's called, well, I'll, I'll put I'll put an image of it or something on the video. Uh, but anyways, after about three weeks or a full month of using these boots um, on a lot of projects I've been building, I'm always doing something, they're fucking phenomenal, all right? You have the leather foot footbed in there, which all, it molds to your foot and it gives you premium support like nothing else, in my opinion, can do. Nothing that I've found at all. So you've got that. It's awesome. You have the crispy sole, which is soft and cushiony. And so it's like uh, almost like walking on a cloud. Not quite. but And then at the same time, you have the outer rubber sole that is offering superior abrasion resistance. So... 
Now you know that I love boots. You also know what I know about boots that make them high quality, which is that leather footbed and, uh, and the crepe sole. And you know how I created what I would consider the absolute highest of the high, best general purpose boot ever. Now, if you want to replicate this boot, which, why wouldn't you? It's great. Watch out, because it's a hell of a lot of money to do this. Um, it, yeah, it doesn't happen cheap. The boots themselves, I was stoked because I got them for, uh, I think, $189 on eBay or Amazon or something like that. And you go, God damn, that's a lot of money to be spent on a pair of boots. Yes, it is. Uh, but my feet thank me every time I wear these and not something shitty. Uh, so there's, you can just roughly say it's 200 bucks just for the boots. For these eyelets right here, uh, which I think are necessarily necessary because without them, you would have to unhook it every time you took it on and off. You've got to come out of that one eyelet. So that was 15 bucks. This right here on both boots was, uh, was like 70 bucks. And uh, then the soles themselves on the Thoroughgood uh, website, whatever it is, uh, they were 35 bucks and then to get them uh, put on it was $75 I think and so in the end yeah I've got about a $400 boot eee, that's a lot of money but I like them and this is my thing and I will probably have these boots and they'll because I don't, I, I, I don't work my butt off every day, right? I work my butt off every weekend. And because I have a little bit uh, less time in them, I'll probably be able to get 20 years out of these boots, you know? Maybe I'll have to resole them again, but if I do, I'm going back to Thoroughgood for those soles. So, uh, maybe you learned something. Probably not. It's just a bunch of opinions that you're hearing from me. And for that, I guess I'm sorry, but for the entertainment, you're welcome. Oh, hey, wait, listen, don't come bitching on my channel about me cursing, um, about my acting abilities, uh, about really anything. If you watch one of my videos and say anything other than, gee, thanks for the free entertainment, well, then you can just kiss my ass. All right, I'm tired of people coming on and, 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 and just trying to make changes to the way that I do something. Oh, it would have been good, but you didn't have no reason to use the F word. Hey, it's free entertainment. If you don't want to watch it, go someplace else. All right, but seeing as how you're still here, obviously you wanted to watch it. Later.